thank uh, Vince. Now I'm first because I'm going to talk about the 5,000 year old civilization in South Asia. Now this particular civilization, in fact what we call as the Harappan or the Indus civilization, now this flourished in fact in major part of uh, northwest part of the subcontinent. Now it has covered in fact you know something like 1.5 million square kilometer area and it was not confined unlike maybe Egyptian or the you know Mesopotamian civilization which was, which was confined to a small part of the one country. This was rather you know rather international uh, which had covered maybe in you know, a major part of uh, maybe northwest part of you know Indian subcontinent and it had spread up to Russian border, Iranian border and also we find some sites in the Gulf region. So such a you know important important civilization. Now when we compare this in fact it is certainly you now we consider this as the uh, most important discovery of the 20th century for two reasons. It was discovered in 1920s but uh, the actual announcement of the discovery of the Harappan civilization was made in 19, you know, in 1924 because it took almost four years for the famous uh, archaeologist Sir John Marshall to identify the antiquities from this particular site. So it was announced on 20th September 1924 as the discovery of this. Now the dis discovery has two important significance. First is that you know before this discovery, it was thought that you know the settled life in South Asia was started maybe you know uh, maybe in the early stoic period, and there was you know particularly the British scholars had written that you know there is a big gap in the history of the country, and this particular discovery has bridged this particular gap, and now certainly we have you know something like two million years of continuous history in the Indian subcontinent. So that was the most you know first significance of this particular discovery. And the other dis significance was that it was contemporary with the Mesopotamians and the Egyptian civilizations. Now when we compare in fact, now we know you all of you know that you know, most of the people they visit uh, maybe Egypt or you know not now Mesop Mesopotamia but mostly Egypt to see those monumental architecture particularly maybe pyramids and those life-size uh, sculptures. We don't have something like that in fact in the Harappan region. But what we have, in fact, what we can tell that, you know, the Harappans were more practical people. They were equally competent, equally prosperous. And the wealth they amassed, in fact, from, you know, maybe Mesopotamians and the Egyptians, that was used by these people for the welfare of the common people. Now, this particular aspect is not really known to the world properly. Secondly, you know, we, these people have introduced in the Indian subcontinent some of the important technologies, some of the important traditions. And some of the basic technologies, and or you know the culture, you know the you know the basic technologies that they have introduced, they have continued till the modern times. And a lot of people, in fact, in the Indian subcontinent even today, they are using the same kind of technology that was developed by the Harappans 5,000 years ago. So this is important that you know when we study these cultures, you know we you know we can really study the the leg legacy that is left behind by these people. Secondly, they also have contributed a lot, in fact, to the history of the world and also to the history of the, you know, of the region. One of the important contributions I can, you know, I can mention is the, you know, these are the people, in fact, who have taught the world about how to build, you know, well-planned cities. And they are, that is going back, in fact, the Harappan period is now, you know, dated between 4000 to 1500 BC. And we call this entire as the Harappan culture or the Indus culture. But there was one proper, you know, one particular phase which was between, you know, 2600 BC to 2000 BC when they did a lot of development and they built cities and towns at that time. So that is the phase we call as the Indus Valley or the Indus uh, civilization or the Harappan civilization. So during this particular phase, of course, they have built, you know, the modern cities, rather, you know, well-planned cities. So this is the, for the first time that, you know, somebody has, you know, built, you know, this kind of cities. And these cities were, you know, very clean. They were, you know, full of, you know, modern, you know, other civic amenities. They provided, you know, roads, proper, you know, running in east-west, you know, cardinal directions. Also, they had, you know, they had, you know, maybe drainage system developed inside, and also the wells inside, you know, the settlement. The most important, again, the most important contribution of the Harappans is that, you know, they were, you know, they were in the first impact in the world to develop dockyards, you know, for building ships and the repair of the ships. And we have the evidence of that, in fact, you know, in the, in the Indian subcontinent. And the traditional bold builders, in parts, they are following the same tradition that the Harappans had built long back, in fact, you know, 5,000 years ago. 
So this is also important contribution of the Harappans. And perhaps the most important was that you know, they developed the you know, very efficient water management system. Now there is a site in fact in, in, in the Kutch part of Gujarat, in the western part of India, which is located almost in the desert part. But they have, that was the most maybe prosperous city during the you know, Harappan times. Now mainly because this city is located on the trade route between you know, Sindh and Gujarat. And a lot of trade was carried out on this particular trade route by the Harappans. And because of that, in fact, you know, this city got you know, a lot of importance, a lot of you know, significance. And what they did in fact, you know, there were small, you know, two small streams running by this, you know, by this you know, particular city. So they dammed this particular, you know, both the streams and they diverted the whole water inside the settlement. And they dug underground, you know, big water tanks inside the settlement. And, you know, they were covered in fact, you know, the underground tanks are found almost all over the, you know, Harappan, you know, city at that particular place. And they were connected by underground water channels. And some of the water channels are something like six to seven feet, you know, you know, quite deep. So that, you know, talks about the volume of the water that was, you know, being, you know, circulated within the settlement. So this is, you know, again, important, you know, tradition that these people had, you know, introduced in South Asia. Now they could flourish between 2600 BC to 2000 BC. In fact, they could flourish because you know they devised the, the rotation of crop system, perhaps you know for the first time in fact in the in in South Asia, and because of that they were able to produce surplus amount of food grains, and that enabled the you know the development of this particular culture, that they were able to support a lot of maybe different classes of the society, particularly the craftsmen. And they had introduced certainly, you know, we believe that the, you know, the modern science and the technology was developed by the Harappans. And we believe that, you know, unless you understand, if you want to understand the modern development in South Asia, if you want to understand the contribution of South Asia in fact to the world history or the, to the regional history, you need to understand the roots of that. And the roots of that, you know, is going back to the, you know, to the Harappan times. Now, lastly, I we have selected as a part of this, you know, global heritage, uh, you know, uh, program, we have selected the site of Rakhikadi in the northern state of uh, Haryana, which is very close to Delhi. Now, we have selected this particular site because for, you know, a number of reasons. Firstly, it is, it is close to Delhi, the capital. It is 150 kilometers from Delhi. So one can, you know, one can, you know, make a day, day trip and go to, go to the site and come back. Secondly, we have also you know, excavated some small sites near this you know, big city. And you, I must tell you that you know, there, you know, out of 1,500 sites so far discovered, there are only five Harappan cities and maybe one dozen Harappan towns. The rest were you know, maybe different categories of the settlements, like you know, maybe there were big villages, small villages, there were manufacturing centers, there were ports, and even small temporary camps. So these are the different categories. And we have not really excavated the small sites on larger scale to understand or to get the holistic life of the Harappans. Or, you know, if you want to talk about the social organization or the economic organization, we don't have really sufficient data. But we want to show, in fact, to the people that, you know, these are, this is the culture which has contributed immensely. So people could, should, should go and see the, you know, the thinking of these people, the philosophy of these people that was developed, you know, 5,000 years ago. So this particular site is, you know, is selected for, you know, for exhibiting the contribution of the Harappans. Secondly, this site, in fact, you know, the Punjab and Haryana, it is located in Haryana. Now, both the states are very fertile. And here, in fact, every inch of land is very, very, you know, very precious for the farmers here. So the site is being, you know, encroached upon slowly. These, the, you know, the village is located very close to the site. So there also the houses are being encroached upon the site. And some of the part of the site has been cut and, and converted in, into agricultural fields. So you, if you don't start the work, I think within next maybe five to 10 years, the whole site will be gone. And as I say that, you know, this is the biggest Harappan, you know, Harappan, you know, city in, in, in fact in, in the country. Now people would like to go to this particular place. There are Harappa and Mohanjadra also, which are, you know, which, which are protected. And we can see some, you know, maybe some features of the Harappan culture there. But, you know, from, because of the security problem, because of the various problems, people are not really, you know, able to go to the site of Harappa or Mohanjadro. So this will be the ideal, ideal place where people can, you know, come and see. So we have planned, you know, the major research at the site, the conservation work at the site, 
and also this uh, the village is very big it is something like you know 10000 people are living in that village and the village is in a very bad shape you know there is no proper there is no proper roads in in the village no sanitary in, in part in the village no drinking water clean drinking water in the village so we would like to provide in part as a part of this uh, you know project we would also like to work for the community and provide this basic facility uh, for the people so this is what in patna we have you know proposed so i'll be very happy in patna if you want to ask me and uh, or interact with me so that it will be more meaningful great thank you thank you very much